Hey guys, in this tutorial I want to show you how you can create a LUT filter with an intensity slider in this Bug AR Studio and I will also provide you some LUTs you can download for free to use in this tutorial. So let's start! Hey again, so let's create a LUT filter with an intensity slider here in this Bug AR Studio. Before we start creating the filter here in this Bug AR Studio, make sure you have ready your LUT as a PNG file you want to use for this um, yeah, tutorial. If you don't have any LUT, just go to the description, click on the download link and there you can download some LUTs I have created for you for free. So when we have ready all the LUTs we want to use, we can start with this yeah, tutorial. So the first thing is, of course, that we import our LUT to this Bug AR Studio, but not with drag and drop because we have to import the LUT in a yeah, certain way that we can yeah, do this filter right. So for this, go to the asset panel and here click on the little plus. Then go up to import and then here select color LUT. Then just select here your LUT you want to use and then click on open. So after you have selected your LUT, it will appear here in the assets bundle under color LUTs. This is very important that you import your color LUT in this way. So because now when we drag the color LUT to our patch editor, Spark AR will automatically create this color LUT shader patch for us and this is really important. So now the next step is of course to create a material for our LUT. So just create a new material, um, go to the right hand side and set the shader type to flat. Then go down to diffuse and click on the little arrow next to texture. Now you will find your, yeah, a patch of the material in your patch editor. And now just, yeah, connect the return output of the color LUT shader patch with the input of the diffuse texture. So the next step is that we create a rectangle here in our scene where we can apply the material to. So for this, go to the little plus and then search for rectangle. So after you have created the rectangle, um, select it in the scene panel, go to the right hand side, set the width to fill width and the height to fill height. Now go down to materials and click on the little plus and here just select the material you have just created. So now the screen is white because we have to extract our camera texture of our camera um, element here in the scene. So go to the scene, click on camera, go to the right hand side, click on texture extraction on the little plus and here, um, yeah, after you have done this, the camera texture will appear here under the textures in the assets panel. Now just drag and drop the camera texture into the patch editor and connect the RGBA output of it with the texture input of the color LUT shader. So now your LUT is applied, but now we want also a slider to control the intensity of it. For this, go to add patch and here search for the slider UI patch. Just insert it and then here it is important that to you activate the visibility of the slider UI and then just connect the slider value output with the intensity input of your color LUT shader patch. And now you will see the color LUT yeah, disappeared because the start value of our slider UI is zero. Um, yeah, I will set it to 0 0.8 and now it is applied too. So now when we want to yeah, test the slider here in the Spark AR Studio, it isn't possible because yeah, the slider just doesn't appear here uh, in the Spark AR Studio. Don't know why, but we have to export it to our Instagram or to our preview um, in the Spark AR player to um, yeah, show this as a preview. So just yeah, send it to your Instagram, Facebook or your Spark AR player. And then you can just test it on your device and you will see that the uh, yeah, slider will appear there. So yeah, this was just the magic behind an intensity slider yeah, with a color LUT. So if you find this uh, video helpful, it would be nice if you give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel, it would be nice when you subscribe to it. So thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.